They are some of the most iconic creatures on the planet. Kenya's great elephant herds. Majestic wild animals that still roam free. In the air and on the land, a committed band of conservationists have made it their mission to save the lives of the most vulnerable. We're not just here just to study them. We're here for the conservation of elephants. This is the whole point. Carissa here came in about a month ago. He's a poaching victim. But many times protecting means parenting. Up. Elephants are very strong animals. Elephants are very fragile animals. Stress can kill them instantly. This is a story of Kenya's orphaned elephants. This is Inside Africa. Kenya's southeastern savanna, evidence of one of the worst droughts in years. Keepers from the David Sheldrick Wildlife Trust arrive on a mission to rescue what they hope won't be the drought's next victim. We have just landed the Voy airstrip and uh, we are expecting or uh, we are waiting for a baby calf will be coming in very soon. Soon the patient arrives. It's a four-month-old baby elephant. <laughs> Only hours before, the Wildlife Trust's keepers found the baby alone. His mother was forced to abandon him when he collapsed. Exhausted and dehydrated, he barely puts up a fight. They have no idea how long he has been without his mother and her life-giving milk. The first thing we have to check on the glucose level. After that, he will get the glucose drip which will uh, keep him until uh, he gets to the nursery in Nairobi. This baby will be taken to an elephant nursery in Nairobi, where it can be given full medical treatment. But that's 300 kilometers away, and time is ticking. We need to be quick because the more we delay, the more we waste time, the more we are risking to lose him. Yes. The Sheldrick keepers have made hundreds of these orphan rescues. Elephants left parentless by poachers, conflict, and drought. A couple of the elephants, you will find them halfway dead. You know, they have been starving for long after the death of the mothers. They have been on their own couple of days, couple of weeks, and you know, they are in collapse. Once at the nursery, the baby is immediately taken in for emergency medical treatment. Outside roam other orphaned elephants the trust has saved. Roy here, three years old, from Masai Mara, left an orphan at the age of about five months. Her mother had been killed by poachers. Wanchala, very close to you, came in from Savo, that's about four months ago. His mother had been killed by poachers. The David Sheldrick Wildlife Trust is one of Kenya's most active conservation organizations. Carissa, you need to share. 
Along with hand-rearing orphan baby elephants, the Trust sends veterinary doctors to treat injured animals, supports anti-poaching programs, and educates local communities. Orphaned elephants raised in the Nairobi nursery must adapt to a new kind of herd. They had to create a new family, basically. I mean, it's a big disadvantage compared to, to being in a, in a natural family with your mother and grandmother. Cynthia Moss has spent decades studying the social behaviors of Kenya's elephants. The, the whole family structure is so important for the rearing of, of calves. And they, you know, they're born nearly blind. They're help, totally helpless. And um, all they can do is pretty much follow, follow the mother and suckle. Those are the two things. And it takes a long time for a calf to grow up. They don't grow up. They don't, they're not mature until they're, 12 or 13 years old, and they're still not grown up, so to speak, and they really still need their mother, even at that point. Here they get adoptive mothers, and stay at this nursery until they're around three years old, before they're gradually returned to the wild. With more fluids, the rescued baby is finally standing up. But in this totally new environment, the elephant is scared. She's like, where am I? Where's my mother? Where's everybody? That is why we decided to bring in Marit, just for company and reassurance. Marit is one of the most polite boys. He's like a very good babysitter. She's responding well compared to the condition that she was in when she was first found. So there is positive respond. In the hands of the trust keepers, the baby now has a chance of survival. Still, the elephant's recovery is anything but sure. Elephants are very strong animals. Elephants are very fragile animals. Stress can kill them instantly. Like concerned parents, the keepers must now watch and wait. Come on, Marit, say hi. 